The Socket Wrench, a hand tool to quickly tighten nuts. It may seem like a new invention, but it was actually created in 1863. In Woodstock, Vermont, J.J. Richardson invented a new wrench. He did this to help tighten nuts in hard to read spots. This is what they used to look like. There are three parts to a socket wrench. The handle, the ratcheting mechanism, which is in the handle, and the sockets. Socket wrenches are usually made out of steel alloys. That means to maintain them, you need to use things like oil to keep them from rusting. Safety should always be your first priority. This means having glasses. This is because if you're tightening a nut and it breaks, you can protect your eyes. Also, make sure to use the correct socket size for each nut. The wrench or nut may break as a result of misuse. I'll show you an example of proper usage. As you can see, the socket is a little bit too big. So we need to find a socket of the correct size. This one is too much too small. And this one fits correctly. So to take off the old socket, what you have to do is um, hold the button on the back to take off the old one and hold it again to put on the new one. When using the socket wrench, you want to make sure that the socket is completely on the nut when you try to use it. You also, you also want to make sure that it's set the, to the correct direction. Right now, it's set to actually tighten the nut more, so I want to Flip the switch, and now actually start to untighten it. You may have to hold the socket a little bit to make sure that it ratchets correctly. And what you just want to continue doing is moving it back and forth to make sure that the nut gets continually loosened and it's taken off correctly. So now it's almost off, and I can kind of just take it off like that. And there you go, it's off. If you want to put it back on, you just want to make sure it's on slightly. You want to switch the direction to the correct direction. Make sure that the socket's completely on it, and do the same thing all over again. And make sure to continue moving it back and forth until it is completely tightened again. And that's it. Ooh, it's done. Come on. Can't forget safety. You're going to have that sound in there?